Okay. Hey, everybody. Um, we are going to probably do this at least once a day um, with reading and one time for math. Um, this is still a little new for everybody, and I appreciate that y'all are taking the time out to log on and do your work and yeah just hang in there because we're gonna get through it together so um for reading this is what we're gonna do so what i am going to do is i'm going to read a book to y'all every day via this recording now um we for the people that are able to log on at the time that's in the uh schedule then We'll still watch this video, but we'll be able to talk about it after, you know, like before we log off, okay? So, um, for the people that are not able to watch the video during the scheduled time of, I think it's supposed to be 10 o'clock to 1020, um, this video will still be there for you so you can watch it on your own time and then you'll just answer the questions and the exit ticket um, that's in the link in... Google Classroom, and in the calendar invites under reading instruction, okay? So check the link. Um, let me see, anything else? Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for reading. Um, this, for the next, I guess, maybe week or two, depending on how long this takes to get back into class, um, we're just going to still be talking about characters, um, character traits, um, the setting in the story, and um, what else? And the plot. So, like, what's happening in the story? What events are taking place in the story? And I, I want you to continue trying to use uh, details. So, if there's a character that is shy and he's this and he's that. Like, I want you to be able to use those types of terms to describe your character. So I know that like you fully understand what you're talking about. Same thing with the setting. If they say like something specific about, you know, there was a cottage in a rainforest um, that had green shutters. I want you to be able to describe that in detail using those details and being able to talk about the events in the story okay same stuff we've been doing but i just want to make sure that like that kind of stuff is sticking and you're kind of strengthening those skills that i want you to use okay got it okay so we're gonna go ahead and start this is a story that we are going to read today and it is called the dragon machine Okay, so bear with me. George noticed his first real dragon on a rainy Thursday. And the more he looked, the more dragons he saw. And I'll try to show the illustrations. <clears throat> Ignored and overlooked, the dragons went unnoticed just like George. Dragons perched on the telephone wires and lurked in the trash cans. And they chased the butterflies through the tulips, they teased the cat, they sank the water lilies in the pond, George fed them stale cookies and smelly cheese. And that's when the trouble began. The dragons followed George everywhere. George spent more and more of his time cleaning up muddy footprints and saying he was sorry for breaking things that he had not broken. George's dragons were becoming too troublesome to stay unnoticed for much longer. Something had to be done. George went in search of some advice. The dragons followed George to the library. He consulted the Encyclopedia of Dragons. There were dire warnings. Never feed a dragon. Never let a dragon into your home. 
Too late, thought George. There were also tragic tales of dragons discovered and captured. And then he found a map of the place where dragons belonged. It was a great wilderness, ignored and overlooked and safe. But George knew he would have to show them the way. George drew plans for a machine. The machine had a beginning, a middle, and a tail end. It had lots of pipes and pulleys and beautiful strong wings. George hammered in the last nail. He packed cookies and smelly cheese and then climbed up into the cockpit. His dragon machine lumbered, engine ticking gently into the night sky and the dragons followed. The machine clicked and weird over the sleepy town. It rattled and clunked over the moonlit fields and woods. The dragons followed. It clattered and banged and blundered into the great wilderness with a crash. The dragons followed. George was so tired from his journey that he fell asleep in the wrecking of the dragon machine. By morning, all the dragons were gone. There was an emptiness all around and inside George. And an emptiness at home where George should have been. His parents searched the town. They searched the fields. They ventured into the great wilderness looking for George and found him among the broken pieces of his dragon machine. George and his dreams of dragons went home. Everyone was happy to see George, and George was happy to be back. He was no longer ignored or overlooked. His parents baked a huge cake to celebrate his return and even gave him a dog as a present. George was the only one who noticed that there was something unusual about his dog. And George loved him all the more. The end. And again, that was the dragon machine. I liked it. Hope you guys did too. Um, so now we are going to answer any questions you might have. And then I want you to answer the questions in the ex exit ticket that is in that link in the classroom. Google Classroom, or in the calendar invite under reading instruction. It should be a red little bar in the calendar. Okay? Miss y'all.